viewers, Honorable Prime Minister of India is arriving shortly to inaugurate the APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarumbu Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. We are speaking from Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. End is not the end. In fact, end means effort, effort never dies, said our beloved Dr. Avul Pakir, Jainuddin Abdul Kalam, fondly called as the Missile Man of India. Viewers, Honorable Prime Minister has arrived in Rameshwaram. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, has arrived in Rameshwaram, Pekarambu, Rame Rameshwaram, for inaugurating the APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial, one of the iconic memorial of Indian history. It's a memory memorial for our people's president, APJ Abdul Kalam. On uh, high viewers, our Prime Minister. Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has arrived. He has been greeted by some of the leaders of Tamil Nadu, one by one. He is greeted by the leaders of the Tamil Nadu who has also come here along with PM, along with the PM, along with the PM, the CM of Tamil Nadu is also there, and all the other leaders is all also greeting Honorable Prime Minister of India. He is given a royal welcome at Pekarumbu Rameshwaram for inaugurating the APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial. Honorable Prime Minister is heading towards the memorial shortly to inaugurate. Viewers, that moment of inauguration, one of the iconic memorial of Indian history, the for the people's president, APJ Abdul Kalam. Prime Minister is now greeted and is slowly, along with him, Prime Minister, the Governor of Tamil Nadu, Srividya Saga is also joining us to inaugurate the APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambu Rameshwaram. Honorable Prime Minister is heading to, along scene with him, Sri Venkaya Naidu, the Union Minister for Urban Ministry. Pra Honorable Prime Minister is heading towards and meeting the chiefs along with him, found the Chief, the Chief Secretary of Tamil Nadu, and the leaders from Tamil Nadu are greeting Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. He's given a royal welcome at the Pekarambu Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. After meeting the leaders, he's heading towards inaugurating. Inaugurating Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Bharatatna APJ Abdul Kalam's National Memorial. This memorial is a one-year project by DRDO. Prime Minister will hoist the national flag shortly after he arrives there and he's heading towards inauguration. He's heading towards inauguration after greeting all the leaders present there for inauguration of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial. End is not the end. In fact, end means the effort never dies. Said our beloved Awal Pakir Janudin Abdul Kalam, fondly called as the Mission. Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, he is heading towards inaugurating the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial along with the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Adapadi S. Parin Swami, K. Parin Swami. Climbing to the top demands strength, whether it is to the top of Mount Everest, to the top of, the, top of your career, and history has witnessed the strength of this legend in all phases of his life. It was on 15th October 1931 that a great soul was born in the land of Tamil Nadu to a Tamil family in the pilgrimage center of Rameshwaram and Palmam Island. By his early childhood, Kalam's family had become poor and he sold newspapers to supplement his family's income. Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister of India is hoisting the flag in the frontage of Dr. APJ Abdullah Kalam's memorial at Pekarambu Rameshwaram. It was a it is an historical moment to have our Prime Minister at Rameshwaram. The flag has been hoisted, it's flying high in the sky. Our national flag. The sign of patriotism. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was an icon of nationalism in India. No, no, no.
Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, along with Sri Venkai Naidu and Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Sri Edapadi K. Paniswamy and Ms. Nimra Sitaraman, opening the, inaugurating the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Memorial at Pekarambu Rameshwaram. Found with him, Mr. Vidyasaga, Sri Vidyasaga, the Governor of Tamil Nadu, Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu. Now he's been greeted by one of the family members of, of APJ Abdul Kalam, Honorable Prime Minister, is Honorable Prime Minister of India, Honorable Prime Minister of India, along with the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu and the Governor of Tamil Nadu, inaugurates the APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambu Rameshwaram. He's heading towards the memorial. It was on 15th October 1931 that a great soul was born in the land of Tamil Nadu to a Tamil family in the pilgrimage center of Rameshwaram on Pamban Island. Even by his early childhood, Kalam's family had become poor and his sole newspapers to supplement his family's income, responsibility to serve and hard-working nature was imbibed in him since then. Though he fetched average grades in his school years, the desire to learn and achieve great heights in life reflected his eyes and bright smile. Honorable Prime Minister is inaugurating is inaugurating the inaugurating the statue the of the people's president Sri Bharatratra APJ Abdul Kalam. That's a view of the statue of the APJ Abdul Kalam where he is actually playing a veena and APJ Abdul Kalam is a fond player of veena and is a classical music lover to depict this the statue of APJ Abdul Kalam has been unveiled at the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambu Rameshwar. Now the Prime Minister of India is heading towards viewing the hall. You have to have dreams before your dreams can come true is a quote which is still afresh in our minds. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was a man of dreams in himself. The DRD official is explaining to Honorable Prime Minister of India about the statue, the statue depicting the Veena, the love for Veena by APJ Abdul Kalam. He loves classical music. APJ Abdul Kalam loves classical music to, to honor this. The, the, the statue with the Veena has been unveiled by the Prime Minister of India. Prime Minister of India is witnessing the, the memorial, looking at the photographs and the arts. The art was actually done by Mr. Stridha, who is one of the iconic artists in India, who has done the art for the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial. And the Prime Minister is heading towards, is heading towards, towards the, the memorial, the center of the memorial, where is going to garland where is going to garland the the where is going to tribute is going to give a floral tribute prime minister of india honorable prime minister of india is going to give a floral tribute to the people's president the icon of indian history missile man of india dr apj abdul kalam bharat ratna dr apj abdul kalam Honorable Prime Minister of India is paying a floral tribute to the uh, Missile Man of India, the People's President of India, Bharat Ratna, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambu Rameshwaram. It was a wonderful moment. Now, Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu, Vidya Sagas, is uh, uh, paying tributes to the uh, uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Edapadi K. Swami, is paying tribute to Honorable uh, uh, People's President of uh, the uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and Sri Venkai Naidu, the Union Minister, Vice President of Venkai, Dr. Sri Venkai Naidu, the Vice President candidate, is paying tribute. And Ms. Foseen Pronarada, Sri Pronarada Krishnan, Union Minister for Transport, paying tribute. And all the other leaders of Tamil Nadu are also paying tributes to the uh, People's President, Missile Man of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekaranbu Rameshwaram. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was a man of dreams in himself. 
completing his education at the Squats Higher Secondary School at Ramnathapuram. Srimad Sri Srimad Nirmala Sita Raman, Union Minister for Commerce and Industry, paying tributes to the People's President of India and Mission of Missile Man of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Dr. Kalam, Dr. Kalam was a man of dreams in himself, completing his education at the Squats Higher Secondary School at Ramanadapuram. He, in the journey of a thousand miles, moved a step ahead, completing his college in St. Joseph's Trichurapalli. He then affiliated the University of Madras, from where he graduated in physics in 1954. He then moved to Madras in 1955 to study the aerospace engineering in Madras Institute of Technology, a course which he was very passionate about. It was a play of destiny that Kalam missed achieving his dream of becoming a fight, fighter pilot in the IAF. After graduating from the Madras Institute of Technology in 1960, Kalam joined the aeronautical development establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization. As a scientist after becoming a member of the Defense Research and Development Service, he started his career. Now seen with Honorable Prime Minister of India, the family members of Kalam, the elder brother of Kalam, the elder brother of Kalam, along with the family members of APJ Abdul Kalam. Bharat Ratna, APJ Abdul Kalam's family members, along with the Honorable Prime Minister, Kalam's elder brother, elder brother and sister, and, and found along with the Honorable Prime Minister of India, with the with with uh, Sri Venkai Naidu, Venkai Naidu, we can see Sri Aust, uh, we can see, see he's seeing the uh, he's, he's greeting the Honorable Honorable Prime Minister of India, is speaking to the Kalam's brother, Kalam's brother. Kalam was also part of the Incospar committee working under the Vikram Sarabhai, the renowned space scientist. Kalam for seen in the scene in the scene in the scene in the scene in the visuals, the Kalam's elder brother, Kalam's elder brother and Kalam's relatives, along with the grandsons, are found in the visuals, along with the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi Ji. And the interaction, Honorable Prime Minister of India is interacting with the great grandson of the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Bharat Ratna, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. It is a joyous moment here in the in the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambu Rameshwaram. It's an historic moment of inauguration by the Honorable Prime Minister of India under the Vikram Sarabha by the renowned space scientist. This was a this was my first stage in which I learned leadership from three great leaders, said the Kalam, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, Professor Sadish Dawan, and Brahm Prakash. This was the time of learning and acquisition of knowledge for me, said our great scientist Kalam. In 1969, Kalam was transferred to the Indian Space Research Organization, where he was the project director of India's first satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3, which successfully deployed the Rohini satellite in northeast orbit in July 1980. Kalam had first started work on an expandable rocket project independently at DRDU in 1965. In 1969, Kalam received the government's approval, expanded the program to include more engineers. Kalam said, to shine like a sun, you must first need to burn like a sun. It was in this stage of life that he started to burn and had started to take greater heights, steps towards human welfare and patriotism, portraying the great characteristics of human being, selflessness. He served his best for the nation's development in the field of technology, and, and was honorable prime minister of india the uh, honorable prime minister of india spending time with the kalam's family and discussing with, discussing with the family members of dr apj abdul kalam seen with him seen with the, seen with the family members other dignitaries and prime minister honorable prime minister of india is actually uh, greeting the grandsons and granddaughter of bharat ratna dr apj abdul kalam in the visuals in the visuals it's a joyous moment it's a joyous moment at in indian history it's an iconic memorial for people's president of india the missile man of india the man who was born in rameshwaram went on to become the pra went on to become the president of india he was fondly called as the people's president to shine like a sun you first need to burn like a sun it was in the stage of life that he started to burn and had started to take a greater step towards. Honorable Prime Minister is walking to the uh, halls 
hall of uh, hall of kalam about uh, the, the the hall where he is actually heading towards the isro his life in isro isro is one of the iconic moments in the indian in indian, indian history because he was a pre before he became the president he was the he was a deputed in the isro and his journey in isro is a remarkable one in 1963 to 1964 he visited nasa's lonely research center in hampton virginia and kalam made an effort to develop the four all satellite launch vehicle pslv and slv3 projects both of which to be proved to be proved to be successful kalam was invited by raja ramanna to witness the country's first nuclear test pointing buddha as the representative of tbrl even though he had not participated in its development in the 1970s kalam also directed two projects project devil and project valiant which sought to be develop ballistic missiles from the technology of the successful slv programs the seen in the visuals uh, drdo officials briefing the honorable prime minister of india along with the other union ministers about the kalams memorial Success, uh, which sought to develop ballistic missiles from the technology of successful slv program kalam played a major part in developing many many missiles under the mission including agni an intermediate range ballistic missile and prithvi the tactical surface to surface missile all the projects have been criticized for criticized for mismanagement and cost and time runs even then he faced the same with with greater optimism optimism kalam served as a chief scientific advisor to the prime minister and secretary of the defense research and development organization organization from july 1992 to december 1999 the pokhran 2 nuclear tests were conducted during this period the uh, the the honorable prime minister is uh, witnessing the hall which depicts the last uh, last few minutes of dr apj abdul kalam and i am shillong i am shillong and this is the day on which he breathed last at i am shillong and kalam received and prime minister is witnessing the visuals of the people's president of india honorable prime minister is approaching to see the statue of dr apj abdul kalam bharat ratna dr apj abdul kalam the statue of dr apj abdul kalam this hall depicts the last few moments moments of dr apj abdul kalam at i am shillong prime minister of india is witnessing the photograph and prime minister of india is walking to the next hall next hall with the hall number 3 hall number hall number 3 to witness is heading towards hall number 3 heading towards hall number to the presidential days including addressing parliament and even council honorable prime minister is 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 witnessing the memorial Kalam served as the chief scientific advisor to the Prime Minister and Secretary of the Defence and Research and Development Organisation from 1992 to 1999. The Pokhran II presidential life of the uh, Kalam, uh, Dr. Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, is being witnessed. The hall depicts the presidential life of Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam is being witnessed by Honourable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra, Sri Narendra Modi. to achieve success in life you must have a single minded devotion to your goal apj was a man of this quote he was he has, he has dedicated his to our he has dedicated his life towards his goal to serve humanity to inspire generation to make india raise to the highest level to strive to serve kalam served as the 11th president of india he won the 2002 presidential election his term lasted from 25th july 2002 to 25th July 2007 Kalam was the third president of India to have honored with the Bharat Ratna India's highest civil in our honor before becoming It was during this period of his presidency that he was he was started to be fondly called as the people's president It was during this phase that his signature had now become an autograph he inspired millions of hearts his simplicity in spite of being the president was a matter of fascination to all he hardly owned any asset and had donated all his income to the goodwill of the nation and the poor he was a social activist by heart honorable prime minister world uh, honorable prime minister enters the all which depicts the uh, kalams uh, dr kalams interaction with the world leaders is an iconic moment
for an Indian history where Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, comes to inaugurate Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambu, Rameshwaram. It was during this phase that his signature had now become an autograph. He inspired millions of hearts. His simplicity, in spite of being the president, was a matter of fascination to all. He hardly owned any asset and had donated all his income to the goodwill of the nation and the poor. He was a social activist by heart, as his only aim in being li in life being development of nation, the development of nation. Honorable Prime Minister of India is uh, is is saying the uh, is witnessing and seeing the Honorable uh, Prime Minister of India is witnessing and seeing the Kalam's uh, photographs. Honorable Prime Minister is walking through the corridors of the memorial and witnessing the beauty of the memorial. Beauty of the memorial. That memorial, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam Memorial, is 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 an ic iconic symbol of nationalism. Iconic symbol of nationalism, and it's a matter of pride for us to have our Prime Minister in inauguration of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam's National Memorial. The construction material and other others of this memorial have been shipped from to Ramesh from many parts of India. It's an iconic place of nationalism. Crafted front door comes from Ratanjavur, stone plannings from Jaisalmer and Agra, stone pillars from Bengaluru, marbles from Karnataka, murals from Hyderabad, Shantini Ketan and Kolkata and, and many other many other products from Chennai to, to bring out this national memorial. The books written by Honorable People's President or uh, Kalam was an inspired Kalam Kalam was an inspired Honorable Prime Minister greets greets the people outside the memorial with a lot of love and affection. Honorable, Honorable Prime Minister Kalam was an aspiring writer. It was not just by his speeches that he inspired millions, but it was also through his thoughts, taking the form of words in various books, Wings of Fire, ignited minds, unleashing the power within India. The luminous sparks, Mission India, inspiring thoughts, indomitable spirit, envisioning an empowered nation by en envisioning an empowered nation. You are born to blossom. Take my journey beyond turning points. A journey to, uh, through challenges. Target three billion. My journey. Your manifest for change. Forge your future. Candid, forthright, and inspiring. A reignited scientific pathways to a brighter future. Transcendence. My spiritual experience with Pramukh Swamiji. Advantage India from challenge to opportunity. Honorable Prime Minister, uh, Honorable Prime Minister of India is flagging off. Honorable Prime Minister of India is flagging off the uh, flagging off the bag, uh, bus, which is uh, going to be flagged off right now. Which is going to be flagged off right now. That's what flagged off right now, which depicts the uh, Kalam's uh, Dr. Kalam's contribution to the country. We'll go around the country and. Sandesh Wahini, Kalam Sandesh Wahini, an exhibition bus which could travel across various states of the country and reach Rashtrapati Bhavan on October 15th, which marks the birth anniversary of the former president. This bus will go across India and reach Rashtrapati Bhavan on 15th October 2017, which marks the birth anniversary of the former president, People's President of India, Bharat Ratna, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Honorable Prime Minister is greeting the uh, greeting, greet uh, Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, wishes the public with a lot of love and affection. The public have come in large numbers at Pekarambu Rameshwaram. Honorable Prime Minister of India has just inaugurated the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambu uh, Pekarambu Rameshwaram. Pekarambu Rameshwaram. Sri Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the Iron Man of India, once quoted, There is something unique about this soil. Despite many obstacles, it has always remained the abode of great souls. So has been our Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Bharat Ratna Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, a great soul that our nation could have never witnessed. For him, we dedicate this memorial, inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister of India, the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji. Various tributes were given to this legend after he died while doing what he loved the most to do, interacting with the students. I am sure this memorial of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam will be visited by a lot of youth in this country and the school children to get the inspiration 
to take this country forward as a developing nation from the developing nation to a developed nation status that's a vision of apj abdul kalam kalam received seven honorary doctorates from 40 universities the golden feather on the hat being the government of india honored him with the padma bhushan in 1981 padma vibhushan in 1990 for his work with isro and drdo and his role as a scientific advisor to the government Kalam received India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna, for his contribution to the scientific research and modernization of defense technology in India. In 2013, he was a recipient of the Juan Braun Award from the National Space Society to recognize excellence in the management and leadership of a space-related project. Various tributes were given to this legend after he died while doing what he loved the most to do, interacting with the students. One of the remarkable ones being the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi released the commentary to postal, postal stamps on the former President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, on his 84th birthday anniversary celebration at DRDO Bhavan in New Delhi on 15th October 2015. Steve Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the Iron Man of India, once quoted, there is something unique about this soil, despite many obstacles it has always remained the abode of great souls so has been our dr apj abdul kalam a great soul that our nation would have never witnessed dr apj abdul kalam dr apj abdul kalam's national memorial has been unveiled by sri narendra modi ji honorable prime minister of india along with the chief minister of tamil honorable chief minister of tamil nadu edapadi k pani swami Dr. Kalam identified three, five areas which India can have a core competence for integrated action. It's a, how viewers, that's a commentary, the visuals of the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam National Memorial at Pekarambur Rameshwaram. As I sign off, thank you all.